Hello students, Shampa Ma'am here. Today I am with the lesson 2 of geography with you. The topic is globe, latitudes and longitudes. So, first of all let us discuss what is a globe. Globe is the, glo see this is a globe. It is the miniature form of the earth. Globe is the true model of the earth. It's the miniature form of the earth. How the earth is? The globe is looking just like that, only the mini form. Okay. And see, these are the two points. This is North Pole. This is South Pole. Okay. In the globe. And the upper part, the in the polar regions, the globe is little flattened. And in the middle part, it is burnt. So, the true shape of the earth is, the, it is flattened in the both the poles and then the middle part is bulged. Okay. And this, this is the, the, the two needles are there in North Pole and South Pole. See. And it is piercing the earth. These two needles, then through which line it is, be, it is piercing, that is called the axis. That is the axis of the earth actually. It is, a, it is, this axis is located in a tilted manner. Okay, and if you closely see, there are lots of imaginary lines and the, the, some are vertical lines. Can you see some lines are very vertical and some lines, lines are uh, horizontal lines. So, the horizontal lines are latitudes and these vertical lines are longitude. Okay, so that I am going to discuss now about these imaginary lines of latitudes and longitudes. So, let's see. This is the globe. See, it is flattened in the uh, both the uh, pole, polar area and middle part is bulged. This is the true shape of the earth. And see, these are the different latitudes. And uh, what is the latitude? Latitudes are horizontal lines uh, stretching from east to west or west to east. Horizontal imaginary lines. And these lines are parallel to each other and they help to locate the one particular place in the earth. These are all imaginary lines. Okay. So, let us see. Latitudes are also called parallels of latitudes. You know, all these latitudes are parallel to each other. They never meet with each other. That is why they are called parallels of latitudes. And the, there are important five latitudes we need to remember. First one is equator. The equator is dividing the whole earth in two different hemispheres. See, the upper part of the equator, this part is northern hemisphere and this lower part is southern hemisphere. And over the equator, it is Tropic of Cancer. It is 23 and half degree north. Just over Tropic of Cancer, it is Arctic Circle, 66 and half degree north, 66.5 also you can say. And then in the southern hemisphere, just below the equator, it is Tropic of Capricorn, 23 and half degree south. And below Tropic of Capricorn, it is Antarctic Circle. This is See, the value is 66 and half degree south. See, Tropic of Capricorn and Tropic of Cancer and are located from the same distance of the equator just in opposite direction. One is in northern hemisphere, one is in southern hemisphere. That is why their value are same. Can you see 23 and half degree, 23 and half degree. Only the direction is different. As it is in northern hemisphere, it is 23 and half degree north and it is 23 and half degree south. And the same is for Arctic Circle and Antarctic Circle also. 66 and half degree north, this is and 66 and half degree south. So, these five are the important latitudes or parallels of latitudes of the earth. Then let us discuss about the longitudes. See, all the longitudes, this is the prime meridian. Okay, this is middle longitude of the earth. That is called the prime meridian. Its value is 0 degree. This is passing through the... Greenwich, that is why it is called Greenwich Meridian also. And all the longitudes are vertically joined from North Pole to South Pole. See, there is a difference between longitudes and latitudes. Latitudes are parallel to each other. They never, they never meet with each other. They are parallel. But what about the longitudes? They are not parallel. They are joined in North Pole and South Pole all together. They are intersecting with each other. And this prime meridian divides the whole earth in again two different hemispheres. The western part of prime meridian is western hemisphere and the eastern part is eastern hemisphere. Okay, if now if it later let, let me say where is our country located? And the east in this this part. 
this part our country is located this eastern and northern in the northern hemisphere longitude latitude wise and longitude wise is it in eastern hemisphere so this is the half where the our country is located now longitudes are also called meridians this is another name as as the latitudes are called parallels of latitudes in the same way longitudes are also being said as meridians meridian is another name of longitude meridians of longitudes they are called okay so this is prime meridian see this is prime meridian and the places which are away in the western part Uh, of the longitude which is in the western part of the prime meridian these are 30 degree west or 60 degree west 90 degree west longitude and in the same way 30 degree east 60 degree east 90 degree east longitude and remember the prime meridian is located at greenwich in england that is why it is also called greenwich meridian now when you see together the latitudes and longitudes on the map we see there is a small small boxes are being formed just like a net okay so these small boxes are called grid understand these grids are very important to locate a particular trade place in the map so what is a grid grid is the network of latitudes and longitudes drawn over a map and these grids helps to locate a particular place in that suppose you you know the latitude longitude and latitude both of a particular point or particular place then it is very easy to locate the place in the map understand so this these are the grids these small small boxes may form let all the latitudes and longitudes together when it is drawn in a globe or a map it is these small boxes the network of latitudes and longitudes that is called grid now let me discuss about the different heat zones that is being formed that is very much important and uh, to form to relate with the latitudes you know there are five important latitudes already i told and these important latitudes are very uh, are don um, are uh, actually they are um, forming the three different heat zones of the earth the earth is being divided into three different heat zones by these latitudes first of all see tropic of cancer equator and the in between the equator nearby the equator the tropic of in between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn this area this orange color area is called the torrid zone it also it is called the tropical zone and torrid zone it is the hottest part of the earth because the maximum throughout the year maximum time the sun rays are falling directly over this area and that is why this is the hottest part of the earth next the both the sides of the tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn that means in between arctic circle and tropic of cancer in northern hemisphere and in between antarctic circle and tropic of capricorn in southern hemisphere these two yellow color parts are called temperate zone this is the second heat zone and temperate zone means that the mild temperature not too much hot not too much cold that means these areas are getting medium temperature and you know world famous grasslands are located here in this temperate temperate zone okay so this is the second heat zone and then a third is the heat zone is called the frigid zone frigid zones are located in the polar regions let's see here in between the just near by the northern pole uh, from arctic circle till 90 degree north pole this this is frigid and frigid zone and even in southern hemisphere from antarctic circle till 90 degree south pole this is also frigid zone and these areas are extremely cold and because throughout the year the sun rays are very less amount of sun rays are falling over here and sometimes it is not at all that is why it is um, temperature is maximum time below 0 degree and that is why it is called frigid zone so let me tell you again there are three important heat zones the world has been divided into three important heat zones according to latitudinal extent the first one is torrid zone that is near by equator in between tropic of cancer and tropic of capricorn the second one is temperate zone that is Uh, in between arctic circle and tropic of cancer and in the southern hemisphere in between antarctic circle and tropic of capricorn and the third heat zone that is the import, most important another most important heat zone that is frigid zone just near the polar regions 
in the North Pole and South Pole. Next is, so this is a, this picture either this one or this one about the frigid zones or one picture of, of um, heat zones are there in your textbook also. So you can complete this, you can draw it in your notebook. Now students, there are assignments for you. What is a globe? The globe is, the globe is the true model of the art or the miniature form of the art. Okay. Then next question is, what are parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes? Let me tell you, parallels of latitudes are the imaginary horizontal lines stretching from east to west over the earth. And these help to locate a particular place in the earth. And what are the meridians of longitudes? Meridians of longitudes are vertical imaginary lines stretching from north pole to south pole and they are intersecting with each other in both the poles and both the parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes help to locate a particular place over the earth surface. Now the next question, what is the true shape of the earth? What is the true shape of the earth? Already I told you, if you see in the globe, the true shape of the earth is, um, it is flattened nearby the poles and in the middle part it is bulged. Okay, that is the true shape of that. It is not totally round. The flattened in the pole and the middle part is bulged. And the next question is define greed. So what is a grid? Grid is the network of parallels of latitudes and meridians of longitudes over on the map or on the globe. Next, diagram, you have to draw the diagram of heat zones of the earth. For that, you can refer to your textbook also. That is uh, there in your textbook or whatever the PPTs I have shown you. Either this one or this one. So, students complete your assignment. Do your work. And don't go for buying any software or anything. And whatever videos we are giving an assignment, that is enough for you. Okay, thank you.